Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this Panzer Core 2 tutorial, we will look at uh, uh, attack calculations, uh, the accuracy part of uh, things, uh, uh, the attack strength versus defense uh, part, uh, and also uh, we'll touch uh, into uh, into some other things like initiative. But the primary focus is attack accuracy and attack str strength versus defense so i have uh, just started a little scenario here in poland north and when you move this tank over to this infantry or just before or even before you move it you get this combat prediction and this combat prediction is based on a set of rules hidden in the system. If you read the manual, you will have touched upon some of them, but you won't know all the nitty gritty details. So this is about those nitty gritty details. Now, this prediction does not take into account any randomness. So if you have set the randomness to zero uh, before you started the campaign this is what you get you take one damage and the enemy takes five damage if you have some sort of randomness involved then the actual result will not be ex it could be the same but it will, would also could be better it could be worse so like me i play with 50 because i like the default value because i like some randomness but this here is based on two things one is the number of shots you fire yeah, no, three things. One is the number of shots you fire, the second is your accuracy, and the third is how does your attack rating compare to the defense of the defender. So, first things first, each unit attacks a number of times equal to its current unsuppressed strength. So this tank, it has 10 shots. This infantry has 15 shots. If I up over strength this tank to 15, it has 15. Strength. If this uh, infantry is wounded and only has 10 strength, it gets 10 shots. If I have suppression, those strength points do not shoot back. So if this infantry was 15 strength but had 10 suppression, only 5 points would shoot back. And that is discarding uh, initiative and all that. So as you can see, there is one of the big winning points of strategic bombers and artillery. It doesn't or outright kill so many defenders, but it suppresses them and suppressed enemies don't shoot back. And that gives much better combat odds because the game will calculate how much damage you take in return. And if the defender is mostly suppressed, you won't shoot back a lot. He's busy covering in his foxholes or hiding under his tanks. Um, yeah, so that's number of shots. The more strength you have and suppress, the more shots you fire, the greater the chance that you will do damage. The next thing is accuracy. Each shot has a chance of connecting with the target. And if you press I, you can see that it is 50. And if I look at this unit, it is also 50. So all units have 50 base accuracy. Now there are lots of things that can adjust uh, accuracy, the most important is stars. Three stars, you get eight extra accuracy. So at five stars, you have 90 base accuracy. You also reduce the attacker's accuracy by 3%. So if my tank here was five stars, it would attack at 90%, but the poles would only have a 35% chance of hitting back. So almost all of my 10 shots would hit, 90%, nine of my shots would hit but only about five of their shots would hit in return. So experience is very important. Uh, other things that can uh, affect the uh, accuracy, if we look now, one to five, we move this over and suddenly it's one to six. Recon increases accuracy by 1% per strength point, either parked next to it or flying over. So now it's one seven because now this tank has no longer 50 accuracy, it has 70. So seven of its shots are likely to hit. And which brings us to the next step, comparison of attack strength versus defense. Now, every unit has several attack ratings. Uh, in this case, 
it is soft and hard. Here is used to, to attack air targets, naval against naval. Um, soft goes against infantry and soft vehicles like trucks, hard attack against tanks and other hard vehicles. You can see their target type is either hard or it's great. Click this down. Paul again, you can see that he has a little soft icon there. So the next thing we must do is you can close this. We can see that my attack rating here against soft is 11. And you can see that the poles, if you look down, look at the poles here now, you can see that he has six defense. And how on earth is that? Calculated. First, the game has determined we have 10 shots, which isn't quite true, which we will come back to later. But let's pretend we have 10 shots and we have a 70% uh, chance of hitting with each shot, that is 7 shots hit. And how many of those sh shots will actually cause damage? That depends on your attack strength and the defenders. Uh, defense and um, since this is in close terrain uh, and uh, it's a tank attacking infantry in the open it is soft attack versus ground defense so 11 to 6. but before we go further we must take into account that this tank has a special ability it has rapid fire times one and a half so it doesn't shoot 10 times it shoots 15 times so 70 percent of 15 how much is that that is that one and a half times seven or 10.5 yeah the computer estimates this to only do seven damage so there has to be something about this 11 attack rating and the six defense rating that reduces the chance and this is the chance of scoring a kill a point of suppression or getting what's called a deflect. And when attack strength is equal to the defense, you have a 40% chance of scoring a kill, a 20% chance of scoring a suppression, and a 40% chance of getting a deflect. Uh, so if it was 11 versus 11 here, then we could expect of those 10 and a half hits we would get about four kills, two suppression, and four deflect. Uh, but in this case, it is 11 to six. So obviously I have a better chance of scoring kills. And the way this works is for every point of difference. And this is a five point difference, uh, 11 minus six, five points. I have five points more. So I reduce the deflect chance by five times five five twenty five and increase the kill chance by an equal number so the chance of kills is increased from 40 to 65 and the chance of deflect is reduced to just 15 and the chance of suppression remains at 20. once you hit a difference of eight points then there is no chance of deflection then all is that remains is 80% kill and 20% suppression. And at this point, you start eating from the suppression part so that at 12 points different, there is 100% kills. So if you hit, you will do only kills and every shot will be a kill. So if this tank had 18 soft attack, then all its shots, all the shots that connected because of accuracy, would do one kill, it would do no suppression and there would be no chance of deflection. And I'm sure this was uh, a lot of uh, numbers, but we will make it a little easier by firing away here. And you can see that if you now press the combat log L, we now have a log here. And it says combat range zero, that means I move into the Defender sex, they compare initiative, and in this case, I have taken operational initiative trait, and this is round one, so there's a huge difference here. 
and for each point of difference 20% of my damage goes in before it can even shoot back that was a little bit on the side here but here you can see 10 strength but 15 shots base accuracy 50 plus 20 70 and here it is my calculation this is deflect it's down to 15 suppress remains at 20 and the kill chance is 65 and like i said if the difference here had been 8 this would be 0 20 80 and if the difference was 12 it would be 0 0 100 and the opposite is true if the defender's defense is higher than the attacker's then it starts to eat out of the kill chance so at eight points lower you cannot cause any kills with the target um this assumes uh, yeah and here you can see the actual calculation for every shot uh this is a roll it needs 30 or more to roll because you only have 70 percent accuracy if you had 100 percent accuracy or more all shots would hit and in this case it gets kill 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 suppress kill kill suppress suppress kill easy so now you know how many shots you fire how important accuracy is for you and how important attack versus defense is. Um, we can say a little bit about the randomness part before I uh, I stop. Yes, we can also look uh, here. You can see they attack me with uh, seven hard attack versus my defense. So now my deflect is 60, 20, 20. So they have very small chance of hurting me. Now, the random number generator kicks in here and it doesn't always agree with the prediction uh, because uh, well there is randomness so at 50 percent randomness um, the game averages out the prediction that's the cold calculation based on the rules i have just laid out with the variation provided by the dice so to speak so in this case it predicted six to one or rounded up to seven and this was rounded down to one remember one seven but it actually rolled six killed three suppressed so it was actually better than uh, expected in terms of uh, of suppression but slightly worse in terms of uh, kill down and you can also say for remember for the pulse remember it was one seven so it predicted one killed and the real resist was also killed there's a little bit of a weakness uh, in the combat prediction because it only shows kills uh, or if there is very little kill chance it shows uh, only suppression so it doesn't show both killed and suppression uh, unfortunately that might be handy but i think the combat prediction is good enough or you shouldn't know exactly how things go um yeah that's mostly it uh, i mentioned the initiative and of course all these things being uh, equal uh, if initiative is equal people shoot back at each other at the same time but if one side has a higher initiative for each point 20 percent of his hits they are allocated as damage kills or suppression before the defender uh before the other part not necessarily the defender but the other side uh, gets to shoot so having much higher initiative is good because then you do a lot of damage in this case all of our damage hit we did uh, six damage to suppression so we actually took out a good number of the defender before uh, we were able to uh, they were able to return fire if uh, initiative had been the, been the same then uh, the 
the result would be slightly different. So if I had not taken operation and initiative, it would be three points of difference. So I would only do 60% of the damage before he gets to return fire. And then he will probably do one more point of one more kill to me or something like that. Yeah. I hope that was uh, not just even more confusing, but also but uh, that you actually learned something from it. Now, if we look at this Polish uh, fighter here, he has only seven unsuppressed left, nine strength left, but two of those are supp suppressed. So, if we fire again, then we look at the log, and we can see the initiative difference here was huge again because of, uh, and this one also has rapid fire. But here, the difference in effective attack and defense is just two points so deflect suppressed kill 10 percent from here goes over there so it's 30 20 50 and here you can you can see an interesting um part that this kill it's a suppressed unit and uh well and the same with this one so that being suppressed doesn't mean you're immune, immune to being killed. No. So, Polish infantry, yeah. So I would uh, recommend the using the, uh, using the, you can see that he doesn't give himself an accuracy bonus, just so we know. He gets from the plane, but not for himself. So I think that covers all you need to know about uh, attack uh, accuracy, attack strength, uh, and attack versus uh, defense. Yes, before we stop, we could just quickly cover artillery because they do have a special rule. So if we press L, we can see that this is the deflect suppress kill chance because the way it is calculated completely different. It has uh, almost no kill chance, uh, but uh, a huge suppressed chance. So there is a different form of calculation. I can cover how that works in another video. So thank you for watching.